are we fueling our body with the right foods? Are we taking care of our biological system, our organic computer, our spaceship, our vessel, our temple? Are we putting in the right grade of energy? Because when people hear we talk about spirit, it's nothing more than energy. It's just like a bottle of wine. I have spirit inside. The spirit is nothing more than the energy. The gases that form into that fruit, which is hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen, which gives you energy, which we call spirit, right? So there's no hocus pocus right here. So are we fueling ourselves with the right food? Just as we would want to put the right gas inside of our car, you wouldn't have a car that uses gas and put diesel, and you wouldn't have a car that uses solar energy and put gas and diesel, right? We would put the right energy because we want the right um, job to be done from this vehicle, right? So it's the same thing to our body. We want to put the right fuel inside of the body. Now, we have to understand our food. Some, every food gives us energy, but what kind of energy, just like what I just explained. We have the gas, we have the diesel, we have the solar energy. Now, which one you think is going to give you the most optimal energy? It must be the solar energy. The thing, the one that is closer to the source, right? Because everything we want the best, and we always want the best for everything. So just as we want the best for the car, we want the best for the house, right? You want the best for your technology and the devices. You want the same thing for yourself. Self-love comes first. Know thyself. Put the love in self and you will get everything else in return tenfold. Right, and that's why we need to check, change our perception, right? Reevaluate ourselves and learn to relearn the proper protocols of how we form that intimate relationship with our food. Now, food is not only what we consume through our mouth, but for this video, I'm going to keep it and narrow it down to just this the consumption of food that we put through our mouth. Now, we want food that is more rich in hydrogen and nitrogen which comes from fruits, greens, vegetables, right? You can get somewhat from our beans and legumes, right? And spring alkaline water. Those things has more of those gases, which is going to give you a more high energy, which the body can break down in no time. And that is what we want. Now, the highest form from that is the air that we breathe, right? And the sunshine. The sunshine has the most potent amount of hydrogen, and nitrogen right and not to mention our moonlight our moonshine right and last but not least we must get a lot of grounding that's why we have our house that grounds to the earth so we can process those high energy that is coming in onto our being right so if we're not fueling our system with these energy then basically the other food that we're eating we're, we're going to become those things because i said what you become what you eat. You become what you consume. So basically, you're going to be running on low energy, low vibration, low consciousness, low frequency of thoughts, and can't pick up on anything that is more higher vibration, just like a radio station. You're going to only think that is only two radio stations you have because you don't realize that the radio can actually pick up 10 more radio stations until when you put on an antenna on that radio. So it's the same thing. When you change... The way how you look on food and the relationship that you have with food, starting to eat more high vibrational food, then basically your radio station is going to tune into more broadcast station where you're going to realize there's more than life, more into life than what we think. There's more to discover. There's more to learn. There's more to learn about yourself. There's more to give to the world, more than just trying to take from the world, right? There's a lot we have to give, a lot we have to share in the most authentic, balanced way if we change the relationship that we have with our food, our energy, our energy source. So just as how you would take care to put the right energy and fuel into your motor vehicle or anything else, right? Even your computer device, you're going to make sure you put the right information inside so you don't catch up any virus inside. So why not do the same thing for the body, right? We have to do the same thing for the body. Your body... Your mind, your emotional body, your spiritual body comes first. Taking care of this organic machine comes first, right? We are everything before everything else.
and if you're not taking care of this then basically nothing else count all right so use the right fuel use the right food and you will have the right thoughts and you will have the right energy and not just energy to just to run a marathon or be the fastest person in the world but enough energy to give fuel to the world to make it a better place all right we are the change we want to see start now up and love peace out Thank you.